We left off 172 bays. <coughs> we just did the Machaber. Hayoshi Tachas Akilo Basuka. Person sleeps under a canopy in the sukkah. If the canopy is not from the bed to the canopy, is not ten tvochim, or the very top, it comes to a point, and the top, at the point, at the very top, it's not a tefach four inches across. Because to be an OL, minimally, the top has to be four inches. So if it comes to a point... So the t- very top of what's covering you, what's covering you is the sides. But on top, it's not a tefach, so that's not considered you're within an oil. It's like just a covering, but it's not an oil. Let's see, Beis. Mishnah Baruch. Tach Zakilo. Heim Sedinim Prusim. Svivus Hamito. Al Arbo Kundisin. Kundosin. Vamito Bemzo. You have four posts, four posted bed, and you have a piece of cloth draped over. If the height is not ten tefachim, in a choshev ol b'fnei atzmo. Ol means it's a mechitzah. You have to have minimally; it has to be ten tefachim high. Vasorat tefachim di miaro. Now he's saying something interesting. When you measure it, let's say you measure from the mattress to the ceiling, to the top of the canopy, it's less than ten tefachim. But if you measure from the floor to the top, it's ten tefachim. In terms of the the bed posts, the bed posts go beyond the mattress and, and go high enough that you could put a, you put you could drape something over it. No, there has to be something draping over it, right? It's OL needs something's covering you, so, so the the distance the height has to be ten. That's for Shabbos. It's something else. It's something else. It's Shabbos. You have to understand why. It, rabbinical. It's, it's not simple. Oshein lo gag roch of tefach. I'm going to vrom da filo bof in zeh. Miesh bepochs bishlosh etfochem tsomach lugok. This the Gemara says. Roch of tefach. Let's say you get to the very top. And before you get to the, the where it actually drapes down, over there it's less than a tefach. But within three tefachim of the top, if you measure across... You have, you have four inches. You have a tefach. Since we say anything within, the, t- within the, the proximity of three is considered as if it doesn't exist. Right? That's the concept of lovut. You have something, you have a mechitza. A mechitza, suspended mechitza is not a mechitza. Right? Let's say you have a frame of a sukkah and you hammer on plywood, attach plywood to the frame, and you have a distance of four inches from the floor to the bottom of the plywood. Not a valid mechitza. Why? Because it's considered suspended. A mechitza has to come down to the to, to the ground. But what about if it's within three inches, within a tefach, within four inches of the ground? It's va- it's, it's valid because that's called lovut. Not gorachis. It's not gorachis. It's not gorachis. We say gorasik. We never say gorachis. We don't go down. We only go up. Right. So therefore, so why do we close the gap? We cl- because it's called lovud. Lovud means anything within a tefach, within, excuse me, within three tefachim, within three tefachim, within 12 inches. If it's within 12 inches of the ground, we see it sealed. If it's 12 inches or more, then you have that gap there. So that's, that's classified as a suspended mechitz. We're going to have this later. Hiltosuka. Okay? So therefore, if you have within three tefachim of the top, if you measure across, you're gonna have a t- you're gonna have you're gonna have a tefach. <coughs> you're gonna have a tefach. So that means you have an oil right above you. Even if you go to the very top of the, the center bar where it drapes down, it's less than tefach. It's irrelevant because anything within three tefachim of the top is considered as if that is the top. So you have an oil. You have a tefach covering you. Okay. When the, the material drapes down on a slant diagonally to either direction, 
V'nishrach v'tevach. And now you have a, a width of a tevach if you measure across. Ain't shom in a tevach zeh ar haklon eshloshet tevachim. And if you measure from that point upward, it's less than 30 tvachim, you're not permitted to sleep, although it's a diagonal. Since we apply the principle of lovud, so the, the, the top, the roof, is considered a tevach. So you're actually within, within your own oil. Then it's all mafsik beinu l'schach, so you're within your own environment. Okay, that you have to understand what that means. Without that, it's not no, because that it has, to be. has to be ten tefachim. If you measure, says, but you measure that not from the mattress, from the floor up. No, 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 no. Three tefachim is that even though if you measure, you go to the very top, it's less than a tefach. It does if it's within three tefachim downward, and you measure across and you have a tefach, that's considered you're under a tefach. You don't deal with the reality that if you go to the very top, you have less than a tefach. <coughs> if you measure from the, from to the very from the top of the teepee down, and within three tefachim, if you measure across horizontally, you have a tefach. That's considered you within an oil. Although the reality of the very top, it's less, it uh, does make a difference. But if that was higher than three top of that, it would not be considered. No, three or more, it's not. Because the very top, the very top of this uh, structure is less than the tefah. So, what are the measurements again? If you clip them three top, you have to add three on the height? No. you've got exactly ten and now you have to deal with this point. So from the bottom to the top. So you'd have to have you'd have to have to have from that point. So you'd have to you'd have to have you'd have to have a little less less than thirteen. Right. Right, correct, correct. Right, 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 definitely, definitely, definitely. Right, because above that you don't count it. Right, correct. Correct, correct, correct. Good point, good point, definitely. So when he really discussed the 10, when he discussed the 10, it's speaking about where it was a four-post, he's talking about a four-post in bed. Mechaber's not speaking about what, what, what he's dressing here. That's the citing of Mogan Avram. Mechaber says if you have four-post in bed with a canopy over the top, if it measures 10 from, from the floor to the, to the very top, from the ground to the top, you're within an OM. Okay, so that's easy, because definitely... Full post of bed, it's a te- you have a tefach above you, right? We're not over there. We're not chopping any. We're not cutting anything That's off. Right. That that is a problem. Now he's introducing a new case. If you have a bar down the center, you're just draping it over on a diagonal. In that case, he says, if you have within three tefachim a, no, a, a tefach, so there you have to compensate it, because where, where do you begin measuring the all from? From that point, which is a uh, little less than three tefachim down. Okay, so from there you're measuring ten down. Right. Now, what, 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 what is the rationale? What's the rationale? Okay. Because, again, um, you know, because, again, you see, it's interesting. We had a case in Shabbos, a very interesting case. You have four walls and a roof. And if you measure from the ground to the, to the roof, you have ten tefachim. Right? And let's say it's it's um, and you have four tefachim between the walls. You have an area of so that's a rishus hayochid, right? The, r- the roof is a rishus hayochid, correct? You have you have a, a post. It's ten high, and it has an area of four tefachim surface. You throw from rishus hay, rob him, and it lands on that post, right? That's considered you've transported, not putter. Okay. Right, that's going from Shusa Rabbi to Shusa Yochid. Okay, that's what you're doing. So the Gemara discusses a case. What about you have a structure, same thing, the equivalent of a post. Now you go into the structure, but if you measure from the floor 
to the ceiling, it's less than 10 tefachim. And you carry within that structure. You take some shizurabim and you walk through that door and you carry within that structure. It says you're not in violation of transporting. Because since within that structure it's less than 10 tefachim, you're going into a karmelis. Because it's not Rosh Hashanah If you take it to the roof, that's Rosh Hashanah So over here, but you're within a structure which is 10. Right? So we say the outer part of the structure is irrelevant. It's where you find yourself. Correct? So how do you differentiate? Here we're saying, even though if you measure from the mattress to the top of the canopy, it's less than 10, you measure from the outer, outer part of the structure to the very top of the canopy. Correct? But there, we're saying no. The outer measurement is irrelevant. It's where you find yourself. So how do you differentiate between the two cases? Let's say it's, 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 it's nailed onto it. Let's say it's a slat, a, a board. It's not a, a, a movable. Because here we're talking about it's a structure within a structure. There it's a question, where do you find yourself? Right? Where are you transporting? That, that's how you have to differentiate. Here, this entity is called a structure. Why is it, why is it called an independent structure? Because it's 10. If you measure from the top to the ground, it's 10. It's irrelevant where you find yourself. There it's to where did I transport. And it has to be an, uh, an area, the location where you transport it to, you have to have 10 for him. Than 20, 20 amos. No. Uh, no. No, no, it doesn't say that. No, it says if you have a sukkah above 20, from ground to ceiling, to the schach, it's not valid. He builds a platform in that. And the platform itself ha is, has walls which are 10 high. And you're on top, and you're on top of that platform. So there, we say, since the platform has its own walls, right? So you, we're not reckoning with the walls of the sukkah any longer. So we say good asik, so the schach, so it's, it's, that validates. So now the schach has realm with steel. More than ten tefach. Otherwise, means nothing. Otherwise, it means nothing. Right. Now, so I'm, I'm creating a case. I hear what you're saying. Put a platform inside, and now you want to sit on the top of the platform, but from the, from the top of the platform to the stock is less than 10. And that platform was, was put in there like something permanent. It's not like sitting on a table. No, no, not sitting on a table. It's, it's because now that, that's, that, that's, that, that is the floor of the sukkah. It's, it's a podium. You want to have a speaker come and speak. Like a it's a movable podium. It's nothing. It's like a table. It's like standing on the table. No, it's not. That's what I'm saying. If it's something that you're going to leave for seven days there <coughs> as the floor, that, and that's the floor of the sukkah, then that we discussed this. We discussed the sukkah. If you have a, a sukkah and you take gravel and you put it into the sukkah and you elevate the floor, so do we see the gravel on the ground or the gravel, that is the surface, right? Differentiates between gravel and clothing. You put clothing and you raise the floor. Now you measure from the surface of the clothing to the uschach. You have less than 20 tefachim. Less than 20. 20 amos. Still not valid. Because there you see the clothing on the floor. When you fill it in with gravel or sand, that is the floor. But you have to have in mind that you're going to leave it there for seven days. If you put it there for one day, the floor, that's considered the gravel or the sand on the floor. So where do you measure? You measure from under the gravel, therefore it's still not a valid sukkah. Although now, the way you position, you're less than 20 amas from the schach. It's not valid. There, there it's still not valid. Now 
No, we're talking about where, where, where is the person. The person is on top of him. So if you measure from where he is to the, to the top of the canopy, it's less than 10 tfokhim. So is he within an oil? That's our question. So we say he is within the oil. From the floor. Because what, what is the structure called? The structure is called an oil. So he's contained in something outside of the sukkah. You have to be in the, in the, under the roof of the sukkah. Under which roof are you? You're under the roof of this structure. The, what is the structure? What's its dimension? Ten, ten in height. From where? From the ground up? Okay. So it's a relatively within the structure. It's less than ten tefachim. It's where you find yourself contained. Not about, you have no relevance to the sukkah. Unless you, you, go out of, you go out from that bed. Then you're under the roof of the sukkah. Okay, let's see the Chobos